Hey guys, how is it going? It's your boy Gaza9919 here and what we're going to be doing today is just a couple of bits to uh, both the Mark 5 Fiestas. Chloe's Fiesta we're going to stick some tinted indicators on and then with mine we're going to stick some tinted rear lights on. So yeah, I know you're probably thinking why don't you just put all the tinted stuff on one car and the reason for that being is the tinted indicators are Chloe's and she bought them and the tinted tail lights are mine. Okay, so first we're going to be changing these indicators over. Um, the way we're doing this is I've chopped the back wheel off. Just check the front end up enough to get access to the wheel arch liner. Um, you can't do this from the front with a flathead screwdriver because these are a bit more awkward with the plastics around. So we've got to get it from the back. And these are the ones we're going to be installing. As you can see, it's a little tab. You literally push one way or push against it, that'll pop out. And that's how you get them out. So, so far, I've just removed this screw. There will be a screw down here, a T25 style screw. You need to get that out. And then we just try and maneuver this wheel arch liner so we can just get behind the arch here. So, as you can see, the access isn't, you know, it's not a massive hole, but it's enough to get my hand in there. And also another thing that you probably want to check for while we're behind here is rust. Because it's one of those areas where it could get quite a bit of moisture in, so you may as well check it while we're here inside the wing now and if we look up there's our indicator so we just want to pop that out and uh, yeah we should be good okay so I've educated myself because on these ones when um, Chloe got them they had these little plastic things on the outside and I thought well is that just to look fancy or what and it turns out it is a factory thing because if we look behind here that's actually how they connect in. So, quite interesting. So, we, I believe it should just be a twist and pull sort of motion, and we should have this out. We simply pop the other one in, like so. I think it's going to be one of those situations where it's easier to put back on than what it was to take off. We just need to feed it in, feed that in, and uh, try and find the hook, and pop it in, just like so. Oh, there we go, final click, and that confirms it. So, now it looks ten times better, now I'll just do the other side. Right then ladies and gents, so now that the indicators are on Fabi Fiesta, it's time to work on Dennis and get the tinted tail lights on. And these are what they look like, that's just a case of lobbing them on the car. So it appears that it would be really easy to take these off, it's just literally one, two, and uh, where is it, I think there's another one somewhere, yeah just up there. So three bolts all in all and then this little connector down here, however that comes off I think you potentially got to press these in. Uh, either way, see some seems a simple enough to change. Hopefully, all the bulbs are fine in the lights I've got, but we shall find out. So it would appear that these nuts are 10 mil. So I'm going to use a extended one, just because of the bit of extra long thread there, and I'm going to get them off like that. So as it turns out, the way you get these connectors off is literally you hold this bar down and then it allows you to pull it off. And that's going to be plug in play, I imagine, for the next one to go in. And now it's just a case of putting the bolts back in and tightening them up.
and already that looks so much better. And that is it for this video guys, um, I think the transformations look like 10 times better, if anything I think I'm going to get myself a set of tinted indicators for uh, for Dennis or either do it myself, either way I think some tinted indicators would look quite good on Dennis and also I think the, uh, the tinted rear lights just look wicked, absolutely wicked, I think it make the car look proper mean. But yeah, that is it for this video, guys. Hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and maybe even hit that bell icon for notifications on future uploads. But until the next time, peace.